but we are going to talk about suffering this morning. Oh, okay. Um, but let me get things started off with a story. And so at 17 years old, I had wrist surgery. The procedure was short. It was not overly complicated, but I had to be sedated, which I had never... So, needless to say, to a somewhat sheltered 17-year-old kid, I felt like all of that was just the worst. But as you get older, life begins to give you perspective. And then you meet those people that have major suffering in their lives, and sometimes they're the most happiest people you've ever met. Saul was zealous in his pursuit of destroying the church. And you could argue, and it, 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 you don't even have to try all that hard to argue that Saul was a very evil man. But the crazy thing is, is he believed that what he was doing was good. Having the correct perspective is indeed very important. So, and God is waiting patiently in order to bring as many people to him as possible. But until that time comes, God uses suffering to do good. And, and we're like, what? Yes, God uses our suffering for good. And that's what he did with Joseph. Again, what did Joseph say to his brothers? He said, you intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. What we need so much more than anything else in this life is God and the people we love. And when we get to heaven, there will be no more sin, there will be no more death, and there will be no more pain, there will be no more sickness, and there will be no more suffering. But until that time comes, won't you trust God with your suffering today? God loves you. He sent his one and only son to die for you, to pay for our sin, and then he rose from the grave to defeat death. That way, when we die, death does not have the final say. He is the author of all life and the source of everything you need. Won't you decide today to be a follower of Jesus? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, God, I just want to say thank you.